Hey, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel and another episode of Tasty Tuesday. Today I'm going to be making a chocolate chip mug cookie. This is a keto recipe. It's super easy. It's the perfect dessert for one and it's something that you can whip up really quickly. If you do it in the oven, it takes about 10 minutes. If you do it in the microwave, it takes about two minutes. So let's take a look at the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe. You're gonna need one tablespoon of butter, three tablespoons of almond flour, one tablespoon of erythritol, I'm using Swerve, one pinch of cinnamon, one egg yolk, one eighth teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, and two tablespoons of sugar-free chocolate chips. If you're gonna be using the oven for this, you'll need to go ahead and preach your oven to 350. I'm going to be using the microwave and it's much quicker in the microwave, it's like 10 minutes in the oven. You want to melt your 1 tablespoon of butter in a little saute pan and you want to brown it. This is going to give your um, mug cookie a lot of flavor. While the butter is browning, I'm going to go ahead and add the 3 tablespoons of almond flour. It does say that if your almond flour is on the coarser side. You can put it like in a food processor um, or like maybe like a coffee grinder or whatever to make it a little bit finer. Um, I use this this brand, Nature Eats, Nature's Eats. I find that it's 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 a good enough consistency for my liking. The recipe calls for a full tablespoon of the erythritol. I have found that it's a little on the sweet side for me, so I'm gonna use maybe half a tablespoon. When you can smell the butter is usually when it's at a good point um, if you're not sure about how long to let it brown. I would say this is pretty close. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat and it smells really good. So yeah, I'm gonna take it off the heat now. A small pinch of cinnamon. Add the brown butter to the dry ingredients. You can see it's actually browned. And let me get a little rubber spatula to get all that butter out. And then you're going to mix it all together. After you have it mixed up, add your egg yolk, vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. Once all that's combined, you can go ahead and add your two tablespoons of sugar-free chocolate chips. And once again, go ahead and stir to combine. Now you're going to take your mug. You want to spray it with a little bit of nonstick spray. And then place the cookie dough mixture into the mug and you want to flatten out the surface and let me show you what that looks like. This is what it looks like in the mug. You're going to place it in the microwave for about one minute or if you're doing it in the oven, which by the way, make sure you're using an oven safe mug for 10 minutes. So microwave, one minute. So here it is, one minute later. You can see the consistency is a little weird because it is keto. You want to let it sit for about a minute or two to cool off. I'm just breaking mine up because I like for it to be mixed up a little bit. Once it's cooled off, add a little bit of a little bit of heavy whipping cream, um, or top with a one scoop of your favorite low carb ice cream, and enjoy. Let's give it a taste. Mine is still pretty warm. It's got the heavy whipping cream on top. I made these the other night for Jonathan and I, so I already know that they're delicious. But I had to make it for y'all because they were so good. Mm. Very good. Y'all see that? I will have the recipe linked down below. There are multiple mug cake recipes, mug cookie recipes, um, other keto desserts that you can find on Pinterest. If you have a specific recipe that you would like for me to try on Tasty Tuesday, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. Hit that thumbs up button and I will see you guys next time. Bye. So turn around, let me see your booty. Booty, booty, booty. Oh my gosh, you don't have a butt anymore. <laughs> So the waist is too big.